Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today is Monday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Our Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 18, verses 35 through 43. Let us begin our prayer now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. And hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, Have sight. Your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw this, all the people gave praise to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel reading according to St. Luke, we are told that Jesus was approaching Jericho, and a blind man sitting beside the road was begging. When the beggar hears that Jesus is the one passing by, he begins to call out in a real loud voice, Jesus, son of David, have compassion on me. The people in front of him told him to keep quiet. A useless beggar like him has no right disturbing the master. But the man ignores them and keeps crying out. And so Jesus stops. If the man had not kept calling out, Jesus might not have heard him and might have passed by forever out of his life. How often does that happen to us? Jesus orders the man to be brought to him. Again, it is always through other people that we come to know Jesus. And sometimes it will be through me and only through me that others will come to know him. I may be the only link that a person has with Jesus. Something for all of us to think about. On the other hand, I may be one person who blocks someone approaching Jesus and his way. We saw earlier what happens to those who are a scandal or a stumbling block to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you, Jesus, asks the beggar. It is a question that he asks all of us from time to time. How do we answer? Have our answers changed over the years? Today, maybe we should reflect what we really want from Jesus and ask him for it. The blind beggar's response to Jesus' question was, Lord, please let me see. Of course, one might think, it was a natural response from a person who was blind. But in a wider sense, so is each one of us. We all need to see. It is our poor sight that prevents us from knowing Jesus totally. 
and seeing where he wants us to go, we could hardly make a better request. Jesus immediately responds, receive your sight. Your faith has made you well, has healed and made you whole. If only we too had the faith that would help us to see clearly. And what did the man do when he could see? He became a follower of Jesus and gave glory to God. No longer blind, no longer a beggar, no longer by the roadside, but there on the road, on the way with Jesus. That's the natural response for those who can really see. Something to ponder. After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate its message again. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you either through a verse or even just a small word that touches you and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to Him. Let us complete our divine reading now with a closing prayer. And let us pray. Having contemplated your divine word and embraced the sacred truths you teach us, complete within us, O oh Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, if you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, and if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. And then also pass this link on to your relatives and friends as well. God bless you all and have a great day.